dudes, Dude the Builder here, and in this episode of Zig Master, we're going to be talking about memory alignment. So let's get started. First of all, we're going to be looking at these three lines of code where we're defining three variables, x, y, and z. We have that x and z are type u8, and y is a u32. They're all unsigned integers here. And uh, we have this uh, area of memory here starting at address FF00 and going all the way up to FF08. Um, we talked about the, the concept of the virtual address space and the memory blocks, the static, uh, the heap, and the stack. But in this case, in, the, in our discussion of memory alignment, we're not going to be talking about specifically the placement in those blocks. We're just talking about um, uh, the placement of data um, in, in relation to the addresses where they can start in memory. Okay, so let's take a look at our first variable uh, X of type U8. Um, given that this is uh, of type U8, which is just one byte. Um, what's known as the natural alignment for a U8 is going to be one byte. Uh, you calculate this natural alignment by dividing the number of bits of the of the data type. You divide it by eight. In this case, eight divided by eight is one, so it'll give you a, a natural alignment of one, one byte in memory. Which means that in this memory uh, uh, region that we have here. Um, we can basically place this uh, data anywhere uh, in any address because uh, it's just going um, in increments of just one byte at a time. Okay, so that's why we see that we have all these check marks here, which means that we can place this data anywhere in our memory. So let's place it at the beginning. Now we're going to move on um, in the case of our uh, variable y, which is a u32. If we divide 32 by 8, we're going to get 4. So this tells us that a U32 is going to have a natural alignment of 4. So its base address has to be on a 4-byte boundary. And what does that mean? Well, the address has to be, let's say that we're starting at 0. It's going to be 0, 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, and so on. Um, we usually use hexadecimal for, for memory addresses, and in that case, you're going to see the pattern uh, in, a, in the case of an alignment of 4, that the address has to be either 0, it has to be 4, or 8, or C, or we go back to 0. So when you see uh, data that's placed uh, starting at one of those addresses, it could either be a one byte that could play, be placed in any address, or it could be a four byte uh, U32 in this case, in the, in the, in when we're talking about ZIG, or an I32, which also occupies four bytes. And in this case, um, we could have this uh, placement here, in, in, starting at address FF04, and going all the way up to address FF07, taking up four bytes, and this representation would be the little endian representation, okay? So um, what this tells us is that if we ha are dealing with an alignment of four, uh, the starting address, that base address for this data has to be in one of those specific locations um, which are basically divisible by the alignment, okay? Uh, so the address has to be evenly divisible by the alignment value. So in this case, uh, as I said, 0, 4, 8, C, and back to 0, okay? Now, our third variable, which is back once again a U8, we can basically place that anywhere where we have space. So we could place that right there after our X, okay? At the address FF. Zero 01. And why is uh, memory alignment so important? Well, um, depending on your architecture, um, let's say that you're dealing with a 64-bit architecture, which is the, pretty much the most common we have these days, um, the CPU is not going to read um, if you need, for example, 1 byte, 2 byte, 4 bytes, 8 bytes. It's not going to read just one byte at a time because that's not efficient. It takes time for the CPU to calculate the address, the actual location in memory of the data that you want. So it's not efficient to just read one byte. 
So the, uh, the, the, the minimum that the CPU is going to be reading is what's known as the CPU word, which will uh, be equal to the, the number of bits of that, that architecture. In this case, we're, we're dealing with a 64-bit architecture. A word is going to be 8 bytes. So at least your CPU is going to be reading 8 bytes at a time. And what that means is, for example, in this memory region, well, we, we will be moving from uh, eight byte boundaries. So that would be zero or eight in hexadecimal and then back to zero again. In this case, uh, if the CPU um, needed to read uh, your data and here we're, he we're seeing an example of that U32, but this, this uh, U32 isn't placed in the address uh, FF04, it's at FF05. So this is what's known as an unaligned uh, memory address. Uh, the data is at an unaligned address. It's not falling where it, its natural alignment uh, should place it. What happens is that the CPU is going to perform its uh, read according to its word size and it's going to be reading from zero to um, FF07. And as you can see, this unaligned, unaligned data is going to be crossing over beyond what the CPU reads in just one single uh, operation. Okay. So in order to read all of this data, it would have to perform two reads instead of one. It would have to read uh, these eight bytes and then it would have to read the other uh, starting at FF08. Okay, so that's the importance of having properly aligned data in memory because uh, performance will suffer greatly if you're dealing with uh, unaligned memory. There are also some architectures that simply will not read unaligned memory. They will um, cause an error. Your program will crash. Okay, so next up what we're going to see is uh, how does this affect pointers, okay? Uh, we've been talking about data types and they have the natural alignment and pointers uh, being a, 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 a type of data structure that only stores the address of the value that you want to access through the pointer. Well, there's this concept of pointer alignment. The pointer itself has to be aligned, has to have the alignment of what it's going to point to, okay? So in this case, we're saying that uh, P is a pointer to a U8, which means that the address that's going to be stored in P can basically basically be any address. Okay, the P we can since it's a var, we can change the address later on. It doesn't have to be the address of X, and we can basically point to anywhere in memory because it's a pointer to a U8, and the natural alignment here is one byte. So this is basically a pointer with an alignment of one, okay? Now, if we are pointing to our U32, then that means that this uh, pointer can only contain addresses that are of the natural alignment of the U32. So an address ending in zero or four or eight or C or zero, once again. So uh, uh, this is uh, another aspect of, uh, of the safety that Zig provides, it will not allow, um, uh, if, you, if you specify that a pointer is uh, of this type, for example, a U32, a pointer to a U32, it will not allow you to store an unaligned address in this pointer. And we'll see an example of that in, in the next video. We're going to be going back to the code and we'll see examples of exactly how this affects our code in Zig. Okay. And uh, with that, that's pretty much all I wanted to cover here. Um, the, the topic of alignment is uh, one that, that, that may seem a little confusing and intimidating at first, but actually it isn't that hard. It's, it's basically simple concepts that once you get uh, used to and, and have a grasp of these fundamental concepts, um, you, can, you can understand what's going on. And if you get an error situation, dealing with alignment, you'll know what to do. So I hope you find this uh, useful. Dude the Builder here. I'll see you in the next one.